Let's bring a News Nation senior contributor, George Will, into this conversation. So, George, let's talk about this leak. It's massive, it's historic. Some say this is right up there with the Pentagon Papers back in the 70s. Would you say that's a fair comparison? I do, and in a way, it's worse because this appears at a moment when the opinion itself is not finished, it's being negotiated. And the negotiation is the way by which various justices move the opinion and condition the terms of the opinion in order to get their vote. So there's a process underway here, and the process has been short-circuited by this, because it's hard to see how you go back and, and resume the negotiation when a very detailed 60-some page, not counting the appendices, 60-some pages of opinion have been carefully written and published. You know, and what about Watergate? Does that come to mind as well, you know, with this size of this leak? It's a, it's a little bit different because Watergate was a, was a crime itself. I don't know whether there's a crime involved here. I do know that people who become clerks in the Supreme Court sign a very demanding, very specific, very rigorous contract. And someone has betrayed this contract. Well, you know, speaking, so, you know, the Supreme Court, of course, historically very private, is a very private institution. Does this hurt the high court's credibility? Unquestionably, it, it drags the court into the political scrum and rubs some of, the, some of the polish off it. The Supreme Court has no power of the sword, has no power of the purse. It has only the power of its persuasiveness. It has only the power of its prestige. And that is fragile. That is perishable. And when episodes like this happen and people look at the Supreme Court and say, well, it's just another group of people fighting fairly sometimes and unfairly others for their particular political agenda, it's bound to diminish the court and bound to tarnish the court. You know, and, and before we let you go, George, we do know this isn't the first leak that, that that's come out of the high court. We mentioned it uh, ahead of Tom's piece there. Tell us about what happened about a decade ago. And, and which one are you referring to? The one in 2012. I, I'm sorry, I don't know which, which case you're referring to. The Affordable Care Act. So I may have my oh, year. Oh, the Affordable yes. Care Act, yes. Well, in that case, the, the Chief Justice, uh, Mr. Roberts, was the swing vote. And he said, uh, in a case of what I would call imaginative construction of the statute, he said, the, the fine, the requirement that you buy health insurance, actually a tax. And therefore, it came under the taxing power of the federal government and therefore was legitimate. That looked like an intellectual contortion to a great many people, but it reflected uh, Justice, Chief Justice Roberts' unwillingness to overturn in a presidential election year the signature achievement of an incumbent president running for re-election. So the Chief Justice is extremely sensitive to the fact that uh, the Supreme Court does not want to become a political football. And I imagine he is incandescent with rage over, what, over this leak uh, that has undermined so much of what he has tried to do to keep and, the Supreme Court above the fray. Well, George, do you think we will discover the source of this leak? I'm pretty sure we will. It's very hard to keep a secret in Washington. Uh, and there's a fairly small number of people who could have done this. And there are few, so you have a question of who has a motive, who has an opportunity, and it gets down to a pretty small group of people, and there are an awful lot of journalists right now, as we speak, trying to unearth the identity of this person. Well, George, well, I'm sure we will be checking back in with you for your expertise. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.